Good evening, everyone. For the second time, a Pontotoc County grand jury declines to indict the driver of a car that struck and killed a seven-year-old as she was getting off a school bus. WCBI's Allie Martin talked with the young girl's family and tells us what legal options they may pursue after this latest decision. For the second time in less than a year, it's a decision that shocks the family of seven-year-old Amaya Braxton. It's just not fair. Last week, a grand jury heard evidence, including new eyewitness testimony, in the case that has stirred strong emotions. It was October 4, 2016, when Amaya Braxton was struck and killed as she was getting off of her school bus in front of her home. Last September, a grand jury declined to indict the driver. The Braxton family started a petition drive, collecting more than 2,600 signatures, asking District Attorney John Weddle to represent the case to another grand jury. The petition also cited Nathan's Law, which makes it a misdemeanor to pass a stopped school bus and could upgrade charges to a felony if anyone is injured or killed. Amaya's mother and father say the decision is tough, especially explaining the outcome for a second time. To Amaya's brothers, they did thank the DA for representing the case. We've always taught them to obey the law and obey rules. And how do I explain to a 11 year old that I tell him he can't do something and the law told this lady that she couldn't do something and she done it anyway and got away with it. After talking to him this time compared to the first time, the things that we heard, it was like it was more sincere. It was more like they put forth more effort this second go round. In a statement released after meeting with the Braxton family, District Attorney John Weddle said, I would like to sincerely thank the Braxton family for meeting with us after the last grand jury. Cases such as this are heartbreaking. Our prayers are continually with the Braxton family and the loss of Amaya. The correct legal process has been followed, and we must respect their decision. Family members have several options, including asking the Attorney General's office to intervene, hiring a private investigator to look at the case, and turning those findings over to a circuit judge and petitioning for a special prosecutor, or asking law enforcement to arrest the driver charging her with a misdemeanor. In Pontotoc, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News. The family is preparing to file a civil lawsuit against the driver.